hi welcome to my channel hey god a few inches later hi welcome to my channel i'm timmy today hello welcome <laughs> it's been a month here and i just you know thought to do like a diary month i don't know what, 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 what am i saying anyways it's been a month since i've been here it was officially a month on monday so i thought to film something and kind of you know document my experience so far and honestly i love this place <laughs> i love this place so much i'm so emotional about this video because as I'm just, you know, talking, I'm just thinking about my family. And the first thing, you know what, I'll have a drink so it doesn't feel like I'm in an interview. First things first, I miss everybody in my house. Because the last, you know, person to me, like a family here, who is obviously a family, is my cousin. In fact, she's my sister. She's in Liverpool and, you know, she's like a, like a one-hour train away like one hour 30 minutes of train away i can always go there and that's like family to me she has kids i can always play with her children there but i want to talk about you know what has changed number one my skin is glowing my skin is you know beautiful now sun is not beating my skin again and obviously you have to still wear sunscreen whether you are in winter or summer or you know in nigeria or hot or cold climate you still have to wear your sunscreen so right now my skin is flourishing i'm eating healthy my productivity is you know off the roof i am here and there is light there is wi-fi i cannot emphasize how much this will change your productivity you know creation game if you if you if you create content in back in nigeria i cannot start explaining how the light situation affects us especially me it might not be affecting you probably you people live in a place where there's always light 24 7 you people have generator or you know inverter all of that but if you are here and everything is you know provided You'll be good honestly so it's like a the only reason why you cannot create or be productive is because you don't want to not like anything is limiting you here also i'm not responsible for myself i have to go out and come back home <laughs> and make sure i'm home or like when i was back home where i used to live with my parents and you know for the responsibility of being a responsible human being or responsible daughter you have to die berry you have to see where you are going to you will this is just a chit chat video i might as well have done it like a mukbang but i'm not hungry i just had rice so don't see this video like a serious video i just chatting so what was i saying you know you you like go out and say oh i'm back at so 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 time here who cares nobody cares highest you just tell your housemates that you're going out oh i'm going to school or i'm going to the store i'm going somewhere blah 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 make sure you come back by yourself you know you have to make sure you spend your money wisely you are taking care of yourself you are working i mean if you don't work you will not eat <laughs> it's that simple so you have to be responsible for yourself that's about the you know responsibility part and nobody's here to tell you oh yeah come and be going to school or come and go to church or you know you have to buy food now your brain will tell you hmm? i mean you have to condition yourself to even if you don't feel like doing it for the sake of you know you want to be in a good position see yeah, guys it's not easy <laughs> I keep telling people this is my first time living on my own and 
it's like a whole new experience i'm just discovering so many things i'm liking it it's very very you know challenging and you know comforting you are free but at the same time there are challenges but there's nothing too hard you have to just do it even if you don't feel like doing it there's nothing like i don't feel like doing you know it imagine if i'm at home and I say i don't feel like cooking mm, i'll just wait for my mommy to come back and cook of course she will come back and cook and i will eat but here yeah, don't cook sorry yeah sorry is your case and again you cannot just be saying you want to order food you want to order food you want to order food before you know it you spend 200 pounds in one week ordering food whether you buy it or you go out by yourself to you know buy the food or you are buying food from restaurants and <laughs> It's going to tell on your pocket, your finances, your savings, you have rent to pay, you have bills to pay. Sis, you can't, you cannot afford to do that. So, those are like part of the changes that are happening here. And the fact that it snowed today, oh my god. I know I'm a bush girl, I've never seen snow before. Mm, who cares? I snow, I say I snow. I saw snow today and I was very, very excited. And if you can remember my relocation vlog where um, Oba was like, eh, and stay talk where well, are you going to video call us so that we will see, you know, you let us see the snow outside. <laughs> Immediately I saw the snow, my mind went to Oba, like, oh my god, I have to call Oba today. <laughs> I have to call her back today and I called and she saw this and she said, Oh, sister. <laughs> I saw like, a bunch of bush people. <laughs> well, not bush, Charlie. It's just that we haven't seen it before. So we saw the snow and we're looking at it together and enjoying ourselves. That was that. So that's another change that's happened. It's not always as sunny and it rains every day, every single day. So if you are here and you have something to do and you don't go outside, you are not ready. <laughs> You can't say the rain stopped you because people still go about their daily business regardless of the rain or not you know they go about their duties and then um, they can't say the rain stopped them except for yesterday where they said there was tornadoes and so on and so forth so um, things got cancelled trains flights they got cancelled because of the storm but then in the morning before it was really really stormy my class still happened it still held i went to class there was lecture so people were no come <laughs> that's the problem we tell me the units that stopped you or the rain that stopped you the rain i enter rain i enter rain i enter the rain to the class so you don't have an excuse so I just want to say this is a land of many possibilities and I know how we Nigerians are back home. I mean, I work in a, I, or I used to work in a market where I see the way people work so hard. I see how they, I don't want to say struggle, but yes, they struggle. Many people are struggling. You know, I see how people are just putting in effort into their work. Now imagine that system was working. Please, I'm not, I will never come here to, you know, bash Nigeria or shame Nigeria. I'm not going to do that. You will not hear that from me. But I'm just comparing, like, it's been a month here and I'm seeing changes in my life. This is a land of many possibilities, like everything is literally in your face you just have to like get up and take it but at the same time if you don't want to take it nobody will force you i mean you get the repercussion but i'm like if you are pushing if you are working you will see you will definitely see the changes there's nothing like nothing something is limiting you or you need to know somebody that knows somebody that will help you to talk to somebody None of that happens here. If you are working, you are hard working, they are seeing your work. You will continue to be promoted, you will continue to be referred. Like, it's not, there's no hypocrisy, there is no nepotism, nothing like that here. So if you are here and you have your head screwed on your neck properly and you look for a job, even if you don't find that job, look for one to be doing before you find the one you want, which is the condition I am in now. <laughs> so just, you know, towards the time where you are going to definitely, you know, work towards, I'm definitely not where I want to be, but for now, I just came. I cannot say because I've not seen, you know, that big job. I will be sitting down at home. No, you will still look for one that you'll be doing. 
before you get down because they might even ask you okay so what have you been doing you've been sitting at your house it might tell on your character so yeah do what you have to do also there might be internal recruiting which they like try and recruit for other companies inside that your small circle of work so how are you going to know about it if you don't like go out to work do not come and meet you on your bed and tell you about it so please go out and another thing i wanted to say is yeah so if your head is like screwed on your head and you are hard working you're up and doing you're up in your game look <laughs> the sky is a starting point for you i i can assure you the sky is a starting point for you so that's just what i came here to say you know the difference between my house and here after like a month of being in the united kingdom and let me just really talk about my church i've just gone to church twice since i got here and i like my church i'm an anglican from birth i continued going to an anglican church even back at home and now fortunately for me i still go to an anglican church and i like my church although it's like a white church like an anglican church obviously white people everywhere sometimes i'm the only black person there or like maybe other nigerians come there i'm even going to call them like after this video to ask if they're coming tomorrow and then um, there's a difference their service is one hour there is no you know back and forth with the there is no thanksgiving, all those type of things. They just come, pray, receive communion, preach. They don't even collect offering. They don't like go around. They, they don't do that. They just sing hymns. And it's so blissful. So I love my church. <laughs> Although the offering bag is outside, when you are done with um, the service, you can just put money there. So that's just it. So that's what i came here to chat about one month after being in the united kingdom is bliss for me also you are responsible for your health so if you if you come here you watch my videos and you always see me having drinks and you think you can be drinking soft drink anyhow that's your problem i drink my water when i'm supposed to drink it okay i make sure i finish about two bottles of this water i'm looking at mm? i aim for at least one clear one clear pee in a day so that should be your aim which i'll still get the time is still like two o'clock now so i can still you know get my whatever that being said i think i'm done with this video i'm done chatting except if people want to hear me rambling and i'm kind of watching a movie now and yeah except you guys want to hear me ramble let me quickly ramble about movies you should watch you should watch um all of them are dead it's actually all of us not me <laughs> all of them are dead you should watch inventing anna you should watch tinder swindler i think everybody would have seen tinder swindler by now the movie i'm watching now is the um, army of thieves it's kind of old but you can watch that also and yeah those are the movies I'm watching at the moment. So I'm done. Like any other thing I say now is rubbish. Thank you so much for coming to this video. Thank you so much for you know listening to me one month after being in the United Kingdom. What has changed? I don't know. What are your aspirations for coming here? If you have plans on coming here, what you know, what are you aspiring to achieve? Honestly, I have a lot to achieve, but is is definitely a process i'm not i'm not in a hurry i'm not in a rush so it's, it's one month you know i think many things can happen i still have like years to spend here so that being said i'll see you in the next one feel free to check my other videos and if you haven't subscribed and you stumble upon this chatting video i don't really do this <laughs> I'm just getting like more comfortable here, so I just felt let me share with you guys. You know what? Bye! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs>